Good morning from Europa Park in Germany where it's time for our day two vlog. We had a brilliant day yesterday, didn't we Charlotte? Oh, it was fantastic, but there was so much stuff that we didn't cover in that vlog. Oh, I know, so we've got loads of different stuff coming up today. More rides, Charlotte's going skating. I am indeed. Oh, and we're looking forward to capturing more of the festive atmosphere here at one of the best theme parks in the world. We've actually just started off our morning with a ride on Volatarium. As we mentioned yesterday, the park opens at 11 during the Christmas period. Well, the turn Styles open earlier, and Volatarium must be open for about 10 o'clock, we think. I think that's like, quite good that yeah. it's open, to be honest. They don't allow you to film on there, however, uh, it's a lovely queue line, really nice for a flying theatre. The actual attraction itself is okay, uh, but it's more about the queue line and immersive story that I really like, to be honest with it's that. It's a lot to look at in the queue, but the ride, I'm not a huge fan of flying theatres, and I feel like the scenes don't flow that well. Yeah, in general, it's okay for a flying theatre, uh, but I love the facade out here and all the queue line, like you saw there from that shot inside. But yeah, come and join us here at Europa Park. Lots to see, lots to do, and plenty of on-ride POVs along the way. It's not actually just Volatarium that seems to be open on a morning now. Also, Piccolo Mondo here is open, the little dark ride. So should we go on here, Charlotte? <laughs> Mates all make the most of it. I mean, the park officially doesn't open until 11, but the holding area is literally just here, so we may as well have a go before the uh, rest of the park opens. Ciao, ciao, Italia. Oh, we love the soundtrack on this one. That's the thing with this park, they've got some great soundtracks. Nice Italian theme ride. Is this a coaster credit? I mean, it's got a lift bill. <laughs> Romantic tunnel of love just here. Oh, Merry Christmas, viewers. La 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 la. <laughs> Got a pizza, Charlotte? Pizza pronto. <laughs> Didn't realize Halloween was back again. Oh, all these trees look really nice down here. It's a short little dark ride. It's in like a minute and a half. <laughs> it takes you photos you go around. <laughs> What's Charlotte's face on there? <laughs> here we go then, round now into the Swiss themed area after that ride on Piccolo Mondo. Straight on to Matterhorn Blitz this morning. Yeah, it's just gone 11 o'clock, so they've opened up early. It's good because it gives people that bit of extra value for money, doesn't it? Opening up them rides early, you know, 11 o'clock, being straight in the park. And yeah, let's go for a ride here on Matterhorn Blitz now. First coaster of the day. Hey, here we go, walk straight on. Look at this, I think we're in for another quiet day today. Ready for the nice vertical lift hill. Yeah, two trains can come on to this. Obviously we're on the one at the front, and up we go. So if we head at one, the other one comes down. Hey. There we go. We're going Schweizer Bob on next, just there as well. The Swiss Bob site. And we can just see, I love this bit of interaction actually, between the two rides. When you look at this, and obviously you can wave out when it's coming up the lift hill. And here we go. Cranes up over there as well for the new Croatian themed area, a new coaster. And yeah, we checked out that area yesterday. Check out the vlog, here we go. Oh, go big. Hey, woo. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite chilly on the face doing the coast at this time of year. But I do like the blitz. You don't get too much trimming on this either, which is good. Are you okay there? Hold it off. <laughs> oh. hey. You're just there as well. Well, on that yesterday. And that's the thing, we'll be going on loads of different rides today than we did yesterday. It's a big park, lots of attractions to see. Oh. Hey. You can tell this hasn't had much time to warm up yet. Pretty yeah, slow. slow. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Good foot layout though. Whoa! Head chopper. Oh. <laughs> Not too much over trimming there. Doesn't need it, that's a slow ride this morning. There we go, into the brakes. Blimey, well, you normally come flying into those. Left over my skis just there as well. Good ride there on Matterhorn Blitz. Like I say, with it being cold and early morning, wasn't running really fast that time. But yeah, we'll definitely give it another go whilst we're here at Europa Park and make the most of it. That's the thing, it's been lovely and quiet. It's like we've got the park to ourselves, this. Here we are in the lovely Swiss streets. 
Yeah, all the decorations as well. The lint shop just there, Charles looking at you. <laughs> lint, hey. Should we go for a ride on Schweizer Baba and just here? Let's go and have a go, here it is. Running round empty. Here we go then, straight on to Schweizer Baba and just here. There's Charlotte. We decided to have our own with it not being very busy. A bit more leg room. <laughs> not the most comfortable one you got to be in one of these. But yeah, I'm loving how quiet it is. And the good thing is we got a couple of days here off camera as well to get even more rides in. That's the thing when we come to these parks. We often get people saying to us, do you ever have any time when you're not filming? Well, the answer to that is yes. Obviously, we plan that into our trips. You know, down here at Europa Park, a couple of days of filming, a couple of days just to go around and get even more rides in here at the park. Yeah, there's that construction site from above. Hey, my home place. <laughs> Silver Star running around well on that yesterday. And here we go. It's not the most inspiring layout, this one. You just drop down and then into a prop break. Whoa! <laughs> What's the prototype though? Woo! Hey! Oh, you can tell these rides are a bit slow this morning. Woo! Hey, Lex! Hey, Lex! Hey, Lex! Hey! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to make it to the break run there, that was slow. He's got the longest run off ever this as well. Just goes all the way around here. This is quite funny. Beautifully themed ride though, like the station's great for it as well, which is really nice. All this. You need your hands up here Charlotte, that's it. The break run's longer than the rain ride. Well it's not the most interesting layout twice above arm, but like I say, it was the first one of those to be built, so I'll let it off. It's the staircase, <laughs> it's good fun. Some great is a theming round though, and the world's longest run off on a brake run, I think. It takes so long. <laughs> anyway, we're going on Pegasus now, the little Mac Youngstar coaster. Yeah, we're really hitting out the rides in the first half hour this we've morning. Done really well. Yeah, fantastic. I feel like it's even quieter today than it was I yesterday. So. Here we go then on Pegasus, walk straight on, and yeah, don't get me wrong, I do love the front of the train of this, the zero car is amazing, but you can't really see a lot, so we've come and sat down here at the back. It's massive down there, with Pegasus himself just there. Yeah, look at Poseidon, we were on that yesterday, a major water ride, home for Christmas, here at Europa Park. We didn't get sirens, we got pretty wet though. We had the cranes up at the construction site, really excited though, for the new rumoured name, Voltron Coaster, opening 2024. There we go, there's a circus down there as well. For Christmas. Whoa! Hey. Woo! It's good on the back, there's. This. Oh, Matt Youngstar. Ready? Helix, 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 Helix. Oh! Woo! Love this bit. That floaty air time. It's a good fun layout, this is. Woo! Hey! What a great ride. There you go, straight into them brakes. Yeah, that was good, I enjoyed that. Fantastic ride there on Pegasus. I like that Matt Young start, it's a great ride. Oh, getting technical, we went on it twice as well. Yeah, it's brilliant ride. Yeah, Making just stay fun. in the yeah, same train. Yeah, fantastic, here we go. Continuing on here in Greece, we're going for a ride now on Atlantis Adventure, interactive shooting dart ride this one. This is another ride where you can control your spin as well. You turn yourself around to face the targets. Massive blasters on this one as well. They are huge. <laughs> Santa Claus, hey! You know I can juggle Charlotte. Yeah, you know that? You can. I can juggle better than that. Yeah. You got <laughs> you got another good score there, didn't you, I Atlantis? Did. And that's what I class the walk on ride. I walked up, walked straight onto the train, sat down. Yeah, that's it. We didn't have to wait no, at all. Walk on ride. Brilliant. But uh, here we go. We're off into the arena of football now. I'm not really a big fan of football. However, there's a great ride near. It's known as Jim Ball. I call it. Yeah. I hope the Jim Ball's in there. Fingers crossed. This was actually closed during the summer. They put another VR experience in here, so I'm glad that they've brought back the actual dodgems themselves. 
all the years I've been coming to this park, this is officially the quietest I've ever seen it. We've got the whole of arena of football to ourselves. And here's the gym ball just over here. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I can't get it, Charlotte. Yeah, we're on different teams. The idea is you use the gym ball to get into these goals over here at the side. That's the aim of the game. We've got to try and get the gym ball first. There we go. That's it, bring it into play. Oh! Hey, gym ball! <laughs> it's not very good when you don't want to dodge them. You get stuck with all the other cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck, Charlotte. Oh, no. Uh, that's it. Oh, oh. Turn that out of the way. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, you've trapped me in again. That's it. <laughs> Just us two. <laughs> Not sounding too healthy, this. There we go. Here's the gym ball. I think I've got a dodgy car here. Get it into play. That's it. We're in play. Gym ball. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to get a goal. Well, you know it's quiet when you get the whole of the arena of football to ourselves. But I tell you what, having a lovely day so far again at Europa Park. Oh, there's the train. We'll be going on there later as well. And yeah, we're just here in the Three Piglets now, the British area. I've gone for a nice fish and chips just here. Yeah, it was like seven euros, which is fantastic value, really, um, for that. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you the lovely Christmas tree with all the British decorations on, the London buses there. Really nice to see. And yeah, they also cover all the walls in here, make it nice and warm for Christmas. So there's some indoor seating because normally the walls are uh, all open in here. Oh, some lovely food here in London. And yeah, of course, you got the London bus just over there. One of my favourites now. Nice little flat ride. You okay there, Charlotte? You tripping up. up. <laughs> Watch the little taxi there. Black cab just there. Love it. Lovely Christmas tree down here as well. A London taxi company. Let's get a ride. Hey, here we go. We got the ride for ourselves. <laughs> There's actually one missing. It must have gone from Aylands. Yeah. Hey. Love it, soundtrack's great on this as well. Woo! Nice taxi ride. <laughs> yeah, you got a few nice flat rides here at this park. All family flats. I wish there was a big thrill flat ride. I'd love some sort of gyro swing here at some point. But it's not all about the thrill rides. It's a nice family park. Whee! <laughs> what a soundtrack. Whoa! Oh, here comes Charlotte in the Irish themed area. Oh, she's squeaking down. <laughs> you alright there? Fresh fast. delivery. <laughs> Enjoy that. Oh, it's fast. A nice ride on the taxis as well. We didn't <laughs> Yeah, we're here in Ireland now, and you've got a little Christmas market round here as well. Just coming on the Bar Express. I like how you got a little Ed Euro Mouse in the front there on the Zero car. <laughs> yeah, you got the spinning dragons just in there. It's a good little fun little flat ride. Another one of our favourites around the corner, the dancing dinghy. Big drop this, Charlotte. Hey! <laughs> it's nice how they got a little junior coaster though for the kids. Fun little fat for you. It's the same as uh, Duplo Dino Coaster at Legoland Windsor. There you go. <laughs> same ride. Just a bit better thieving on this one. I do like the train on Duplo Dino Coaster though, to be fair. Yeah, I do like this little Irish area. There's a tractor ride down here, a few other bits. I love these German stalls like this, really nice. Like you see on the German markets back home, except we're actually in Germany seeing them this time. You've got the old McKay's pub just there as well. So smooth. Oh, it's a cute little coaster, and you've got Silver Star there just behind it as well. Who have we got here, Charlotte? So we've got Shelly the Sheep here. <laughs> Shelly the Sheep? We're reading the park map. Oh, would Shelly like to come and join us for a ride on the dancing dinghy? What do you think? No? Nothing. Just going to stay out reading the map there. Well, never before have we had the dancing dinghy all to ourselves just there. Hey, that is zero rocking tug. It's fast, this is. Oh my God. <laughs> Charlotte's just treated us to a nice Lindt chocolate oh, bunny. No, it was a Santa. It was a, oh, it was a Santa. It was oh, Santa. Right, oh, it was nice then. Lindt chocolate, whatever it was. <laughs> there we go. It's delicious. I enjoyed it. Hey, just from the Lindt shop. Ooh, it's fast, this, isn't it? It's fast. <laughs> Great soundtrack by Ima Score as well. Da, 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 da. Hey, we've got another dog ride coming up soon. We're going on Geiger Sloss soon as well. I like that, don't we? The nice Joe's like Castle. Fantastic. Dingy. Awesome ride there on the dancing dinghy here in Ireland. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you this nice festive scene just here. We've got the train running around here as well. And this bonus little ride that you can't go on. Well, the reindeers are in Santa. 
just down here, which is really nice. Yeah, great photo opportunity. I like how they got the snow scene with the train going round. Well, I'll tell you what, we're getting used to these one minute queues this trip. It is so quiet. I think it'd be busier at the weekend, but yeah, like look at this. These weekday queues here at Europa Park. Walk on another one minute wait for Geister Slars just here. <laughs> Been through the stretching room, Europa Park's very own haunted mansion. We make our way onto our doom buggy. Must be They put some Christmas hats on. <laughs> Brilliant. Chandelier is great in here as we spiral up in this scene. Great soundtrack once again to this ride as well. It's a Europa Park classic, this. A nice old ride, but I do love it. Back in the day when the park used to copy Disney a hell of a lot, but you gotta love it. Old school Europa Park with guys just like just here. going on in these scenes like you don't know where to look <laughs> Some on right footage there from Geyser Slars. You really like that, oh, don't you? Such a good ride. Some great scenes, a lot's going on in there as well. Like, you don't know why it's looking at some of them scenes. <laughs> There's so much going on. Yeah, I wish it was a little bit longer, to be honest, so they could spread things out a bit more so you could see things. It wouldn't surprise me if that ride undergoes a bit of an overhaul at some point soon, because they tend to be going round upgrading all the dark rides these past few years. So maybe after we've had the new coaster, they might come to that and do some work nice to, to see it. A bit of an upgrade. Yeah, 100% with some new technology. But uh, still here in Italy, we're going on Volo and Vinci just here now. Another one minute wait for this one, folks. Oh, no. And you come all around the gardens here, and here you get all these lovely boat rides. You got the little vintage cars ride down there as well. It's weird coming to this park and not seeing like many boats and many cars going around because normally it's all about the throughputs here. That's what they say to the staff. It's throughputs, throughputs. We've got friends that work here at the park and that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, this time of year, obviously when it's this quiet, means the staff can just chill out. Hello, theme park worldwide on YouTube. I don't think they had a clue what we said then. Um, but yeah, it's lovely with all this set up around here. There you go, fantastic ride. Holy Da Vinci. More lovely Christmas trees. Yeah, there's another boat ride just over there as well with all the clowns. You got the Jim Goff ride just down here as well with these little trains. And what I love is how they've got a smoke machine in the chimneys. They do that over on the tractor ride as well. Oh yeah, it is lovely. There's so much here. Really nice part to just come and chill out and enjoy lots of great rides. It's not about massive intense thrills here, or at least it's not for now anyway. I think with the new coaster, that's kind of what they're going for with it. Um, but yeah, it's more about a nice family experience, immersive themed areas, and just a lovely atmosphere. I mean, look at this, the setup's great. Tonight, we're also going to be seeing the projection mapping show over on Eurosat Can Can Coaster over there. So yeah, stay tuned for that coming up later on in the vlog and also some more footage of the park at night. We'll go on the train tonight and the Historama monorail so we can see all the lights. Great ride there on Volo Da Vinci. And yeah, who have we got just over here? Santa's climbing presents here. He is. Like if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I've got the shot loads of presents here from Europa Aww. Park. Yeah. <laughs> Gradually taking them down to the entrance, you see. Yeah, That's what it is. Oh, yeah. There you go. What a great photo opportunity. This plane isn't normally here, by the way brought in just for Christmas that's the thing we're in these big festive pieces in it's amazing you having a good time yeah. oh it feels so Christmassy Very oh it's really nice but yeah the park's gorgeous in the daytime but at night with all the lights can't wait to see it again tonight back here now in the Minimoys Kingdom of course we went on Arthur yesterday so if you want to see on ride footage from that Make sure you check out yesterday's vlog. 
bit like we keep mentioning, there's loads of rides everywhere. I mean, you got a little carousel up there, and also a really fun couple of rides over here. Poppy Towers. Poppy Should we go and have a ride on it? You get some nice little bits of air time on it, and they spin round as well, offering some great views. Hey, here we go. Yeah, look at the view in here. It's always worth coming on this side as well. I remember when Arthur first opened, 2014, they only had one tower, and then they added the second one for when it gets busy. And yeah, it's like just the queue built up a little bit. So she decided just to open the other one. Like, fantastic. That's why they win awards at this place. So, hey, <laughs> Poppy Towers. Honestly, they're so much fun. I love like all the big fence panels here, like you've been shrunk down. It's a very weird movie, Arthur. It's very strange, but it's a fantastic ride. I do love it in here. It's a great area. Whoop, whoop. Hello. <laughs> and there goes the ride. Oh, I love it. Send one of those to Walton Towers, please. We'll have one. Here we go then. So it's time for skating with Charlotte after our ride there on Poppy Towers. <laughs> you ready? It's only four euros and you get proper figure skates as well. Yeah. Which is nice. Oh, nice white skates for Charlotte. Let's see how I get on. Hopefully, you're going to get on better with you having those. Yeah, fingers crossed. I can't walk in them. <laughs> There we go, look at this. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. And the good thing is you can just get the skating aids there as well for free. They've just got them here at the side. There's a nice penguin there waiting for Charlotte. Oh, it's a gorgeous setting down here. And yeah, normally you wouldn't be able to stand here in the main summer season because yeah, I'd be underwater. This is normally a lake for fjord rafting, but I love all this that they put in. And they bought it all off around here as well. She's swapped there <laughs> to a Christmas bear, is it? Just there that she's got. <laughs> skating aid. We have a beautiful setup down here in the Scandinavia area. There's the big wheel bell view we went on there yesterday. And yeah, Blue Fire's just gone round with six people on. It is so quiet here. But it's a brilliant time to come to get loads of rides in. Normally, I prefer a park to be a bit busier for more atmosphere, but the good thing is here at Europa Park, with the whole park being beautifully decorated, uh, it just really adds to it. How are you getting on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just really makes it special. And yeah, I'm not complaining that it's so quiet. How are you getting on down there, Charlotte? <laughs> beautiful setting, though. <laughs> Look at this. At least you got it all to yourself, pretty much. Oh, it's beautiful here. It really is. All the buildings, all the trees. And yeah, it's like two in one ice skating rink just here. You've got the big side over here, and then you've got the smaller side just over here as well. There she is. The hardest skates I've ever skated in. Proper figure skates. Yeah, come on, I want to see you do some better skating here. These kids are showing you up over it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what a lovely setting it really is. And yeah, Blue Fire. Oh, you just got over. Blue Fire Mega Coaster just over there as well. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Some quality skating there once again from Charlotte. I have to say, they're the hardest skates I've ever skated. And I've had to come off because my feet were sort of going outwards. I didn't want to end up breaking my ankle or something. I think it's time, Charlotte, to give up on this ice skating, to be know. honest. Like, we've tried it in so many places. I knew I wasn't going to go on. but It was lovely setting. <laughs> I've always wanted to use like the figure skates, but they are so hard to skate in. Now you know, right? I know, <laughs> now I know. Oh, no, I enjoy watching though. It is a gorgeous set. You've got to think it's only four euros. And I had to skate Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get some more rides here at Europa Park during winter season. Well, we just done a couple of re-rides that we did yesterday. So yeah, we went on Blue Fire and Woden again. And yeah, walked straight on to Blue Fire. Waited about 10 minutes just for Woden. Running two trains today. And yeah, we'll take you on for a night ride, actually, later on in the vlog. We yeah, still got lots coming up. We're not going to be riding on the old Tyrrell at Wild Wazaban because that's closed for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> hey, fantastic. don't worry. Chapas is open oh, at Fantasia Land. So we'll get you on Chapas. <laughs> well, yeah, down here in Austria now. And we're going to make our way down into Spain. However, I don't think it's going to be very warm in Spain, do you, Charlotte? No, I'm <laughs> I bet that makes you happy seeing all them logs just stacked up there. It looks like they're ready to go, though, just in case, you know. In fact, when I came a few years ago, uh, they w it was open at Christmas on a busy day. Yeah. If it's busy at the weekend, it might open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I got loads of rides down here at the back of the park. Here we go, then, on Alpen Express here in Austria. Nice two lap special, love a good Mac powered coaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got the chair swing just over next to us there as well. Whoa! 
Not forgetting you've got the diamond mines if you want a warm up, which is a nice walk through. Honestly, there's so many attractions here. Loads of little hidden gems as well. And here's the diamond mine. Woo! Yeah, you can walk through here. And also the Tiroler when it's open goes through here. Oh, new lighting in there. Star cluster laser. We're always adding things to the park here. Like we've been here loads of times now. There's always new bits to see. Down there in Spain, where you also get some bonus things for Christmas. Woo! <laughs> I tell you what, I ride so well, this does. Obviously, with it being a Mac ride, I mean, they look after everything they own here, but when it's the road, it really is a showpiece for Mac rides, this park. Whoa! Yeah, it's gorgeous in here. Loads of great lighting. Whoa! Love that new laser. Woo! Fantastic. There we go. We are going to make our way now. We're running to the Spanish themed area. Hey, better smoke here as well. Hey, Merry Christmas. Lovely ride there on the Alpen Express. Did you enjoy that? Really enjoyed that. Fantastic operations on there as well. Oh, fantastic. Because they don't check the lap bar, they're just leaving the platform. Ne head next head one was going. Head. There you go. Great operations. Right, we're going on this now. Beautifully themed ride, this is. It's an indoor flat ride called Columbus. Let's go and check it out. Here we go. Beautiful ride, this. Really well themed in here. You look at it at first. I think oh, it's just a standard flat ride, but now it's got some great theming. There we go. All the walls close in and all the projections come on. But hey, you turn it around yourself this one, you can steer it around us there. There we go, and then we see Charlotte just there on the high seas here in Spain with Columbus. Hey, whoa! You also set your cannons off by pressing that button just there. Yeah, you got a fountain package, projections, star cloth, full package. That's what I like at Europa Park. It's a great park, honestly. We've been coming here for nine years now. We're in our tenth year of coming to Europa Park next year. First came in 2013, but yeah, just to be back out here enjoying this park again. It's always a pleasure, and yeah, if you've never been before, what are you messing at? Get yourselves out here. Fantastic. Lovely ride there over on Columbus. I'm not too sure where Charlotte's gone, but yeah, when I find her, we'll go on the Ferrier Swing right next door just here. Yeah, Spain looks lovely at Christmas. Here we go then on the Ferrier Swing, and yeah, you get a nice festive tune in here over Christmas. I think one of them is Police Navy Dad. But yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's basically a Matterhorn ride, but it doesn't go too fast, this one. Just for family, it's not a massive thrill one. This is about as quick as it goes. So me and Charlotte comes on. <laughs> <laughs> this is just enough for you, isn't it, I think? Yeah. yeah, you don't get like swinging side. It's not like ice jet or something when we get back home. It's nice how it's in a building though, that's the thing. All the flat rides in a nice building. Now throughout the park in the summer season, there's obviously a lot of outdoor alfresco dining areas. But yeah, because you don't really want to be sat outside eating over Christmas, they turn them into these nice little winter scenes, such as these over here. There you go, these little animatronics, just having fun there in the snow. I like the one that's just rolling the big snowball over there. Also here then, in the Spanish themed area, you've got the ice bar just over here, Bar Glacier. And yeah, as you can see, the bar is actually made of ice here. Yeah, it's very cold in there. But luckily, it's nice and warm outside here, thanks to this. Hey, here we go. Love the fire pits that they have around here at Europa Park. There we go, you're right, why are you running off? Why, what's wrong with the fire pit? Yeah. <laughs> Now, as you can see, you've got this little area over here in the Spanish arena. If you come in the summer, obviously, they normally have the show in there. Um, but yeah, they don't have the horse show over winter. However, uh, normally, they put, like, all ice sculptures in there. But they've not done it again this year. Uh, I know for a fact that it was probably because of a couple of years ago, due to the pandemic, they had it all set up. You're right there. They had it all set up and they couldn't open it, which is a shame. So hopefully they'll bring that back in the future. I hope so, yeah. What they've done now, they've put all games and stuff in there, haven't they, for they kids? Too, which is quite cute. Yeah, they bring out a little kids bonus ride here as well, just at the back there, just in this area, just to fill the space a little bit. And as you can see here, this is normally another show venue um, during the summer. And they know that people don't really want to sit outside watching shows at this time of year. So yeah, they just turn it into another little play area. And there's Alpen going just behind there as well. Fantastic. Yeah, I love all the big fires idea. I think it's really nice. Should we go for a ride round on the EP Express now? Yes. Let's have a loop round on there. We're going to do the other monorail as well when it gets dark and the train tonight. Oh yeah, look at this. 
nice and warm. Oh, it's nice to be able to see out the windows on this monorail. But yeah, it's a Von Roll monorail, exactly the same as Alton Towers. Fun fact for you. This one's a little bit newer though. And yeah, opened here in 1995. But yeah, you get some fantastic views looking out over the park and even more so at Christmas. But yeah, I thought we'll get on this one now, just with the kind of sun starting to go down. And then yeah, we'll go on the other monorail where you're in the outdoor trains and also the actual train, the Panorama Barn later on as well. But yeah, we went on the big wheel that they're bringing just for Christmas in yesterday's vlog. Here we go, we had a look at the Voldron construction yesterday, the new coaster coming 2024, expected. Well, that's gonna be the name. We have from here, we get a nice aerial view, looking at the new Croatian themed area. This is gonna be round here, yeah, look at this. Gonna be fantastic, can I wait to see it. Obviously, there used to be the massive satellite dish here, if you remember that. There you go, you can just see all the footers for the ride over there, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. There's the Christmas market down there again as well. And Balthazar Castle just over there in the background. Stunning building. Oh, look at that tree with all the lights on as well. Gorgeous. And of course, much like the theme park here at Europa Park, all the hotels are decorated for the festive season as well. And yeah, it gets transformed into a winter wonderland with lights and trees absolutely everywhere. Some on-ride footage there from the EP Express, and that's a good thing. If you get a bit chilly or just want to sit down and relax, you can go on the transport rides like it's that. It's nice to just be able to see out the windows, to be honest. It's one of the reasons why I love Europa Park so much. You've got a lot of relaxing rides, nice. like the dark rides, the transportation. There's a really nice variety of attractions here. You don't have to be full on riding big coasters all day. And that's the problem with somewhere like Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. It's not enough filler it's rides. big rides all the time, which of course we love the big rides, but here you just get that perfect mix. It's like you can just take a bit of time out to chill out really nice. and enjoy it and see beautiful things like the Norwegian church that you can see there behind us which is gorgeous and anyway still got a couple of dark rides to do we're going to head around the corner now into the rest of Scandinavia and go on Snorri Touring now so this opened a few years ago uh, to promote the Rulantica water park um, but yeah it's a great ride we like oh, it's this so cute. great soundtrack as well Oh, it's lovely around here. All the lights on the buildings, and yeah, when all this was destroyed in the fire, it was completely rebuilt, and they thought, we're not just gonna bring it back how it was before. We'll enhance the area and build a dark ride. And yeah, we're actually walking above where the dark ride is, because it's built underneath here. And yeah, there's so many little bits what you could miss here if you didn't know the part very well. That's why we like to film these vlogs, give you lots of tips for if you come in. Because yeah, it looks like just a little entrance to this turret over here, which it used to be, you used to be able to walk up to the top there. Now you go downstairs and into the dark ride. Set Snorri, blow that horn. Sound. Oh, I love it, it? Great soundtrack. Into the projection dome. A lovely ride there on Snorri Touring. Yeah, nice little dark ride located underneath the Scandinavia themed area. And yeah, it's a great attraction, lots going on. I'm still not too sure on how I feel about that kind of projection dome screen that you go into. But still, it's a nice ride. And yeah, it helps promote the water park. And we made our way now into Bamboo Bay. Never actually been in here before. 
But yeah, Charlotte's having some nice food. What have you gone for just here? I've gone for like this bowl with like noodles, got a bit of chicken and some veg in there as well. It was 13 euros. 13.90. Yes, there you go. Well, it's not the cheapest, but it's something a bit different for you. Exactly, yeah. There you go. Is it nice? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, there you go. And now, obviously, this restaurant's located right here, looking out over Paris and Batavia, which is lovely with the boats just coming past. Yeah, really nice atmosphere in here. You got all the birds in the ceiling, and yeah, sometimes they have entertainment in here as well. But yeah, nice meal for Charlotte just there. Something a little bit different for you. Definitely. Heading back outside then now, and it's time to enter the winter wonderland of Europa Park at Christmas. So here on the monorail. Sign off in the Historama just there. And look at this, yeah, I love the transport rides, but especially when you see all the lights, there's Charlotte's presence down there again. Oh, <laughs> look at this, and there's even lights on the monorail trains. This station in Islam. That's fantastic. Christmas lights absolutely hey. everywhere. <laughs> look at this. Amazing. If only we had something like this back home. Oh, it's beautiful. Josephina's down there with a nice fountain package. Obviously, last night we saw the fireworks down here as well. They're on nightly during Christmas. Yeah, check out yesterday's vlog. It was a completely different day. That's the thing here, with it being such a big park with so many different attractions, each day is very different. You can do completely different rides to what you did the day before. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this, and I look forward to seeing the upgrades for next year to Josephina's with the new station and restaurants, and of course the new boats that are going to be on there as well. But yeah, photos and videos don't do it justice. This park, absolutely gorgeous. Wodan looking majestic as ever just there. Yeah, I'll be taking you on for a night ride shortly in the vlog as well. Yeah, we're going to carry on round here on the Historama monorail. And we'll jump on the panorama bar then on the train. It takes you around the park. Just thought we'd save these transport rides for a night during Christmas so you can see all these epic views. So magical. Here we are back down into the winter wonderland. Ice skating rink over there. Oh, it's a bit busier now than it was earlier. A few people seem to be struggling on there, so, so I'll let you off, Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we think you can just go and jump back on again with your receipts. I think that's what she said to us, which is good. If you fancy another go. Yeah, yeah. Fancy another yeah. <laughs> What do you think to the view, Charlotte? So nice, it really is. A lovely ride there on the monorail, and I'll tell you what, seeing the park lit up at night is such a special experience. Oh, it's stunning because you see like so much when you're so high up. Yeah, it's beautiful, it really is. I thought we'd save these POVs on the transport rides until tonight, and we're on the Panorama Barn now on the Park Railroad. Yeah, this takes you all the way around. If you sit on the whole thing, it's about a 20 minute ride, and yeah, we'll see all the lovely lights around us. <laughs> What's really nice about the train here as well is how they put all the snow on the roofs, there's baubles, lights, and yeah, the actual loco at the front there is covered in lights as well, which is really nice. It's like the Santa Express that takes you all around the park. And that's the thing, when it's a, such a big park like this, with so much going on, you really need good transportation, and that's the great thing here. They've got you covered with that. Nice little winter scene just over there. That's the thing, they bring in like so much just for this season. 
It's amazing to come and see. We're used to back home with a lot of parks at Christmas. With it being a reduced offering, here they tend to bring more out, or if something can't operate, such as Atlantica for example, due to the temperature, they'll put something else in and bring more in, which is really good to see. Euro Tower looks stunning there at night. Yeah, we went on that last night in the day one vlog. Sitzen, bis der Zug. Here we go, just leaving the Spanish themed area now. With more lights and trees, of course. <laughs> it's just so nice to be able to appreciate this park in the dark. Because obviously, you come in the summer. You don't really get to enjoy it at night. Yeah, Christmas is the best time for enjoying it here in the dark. Oh, lovely sit down there on the panorama bar. And look at your room here there, fantastic. There we go, really enjoyed that. Right, we're gonna make our way now down to France to go and check out Miracle Lux, which is the projection mapping show. Lovely ride round on the Panorama Barn, and yeah, doing the full loop takes about 20, 25 minutes, something like that, which was nice. Yes, indeed, it was lovely. Yeah, lovely. You just whacked your uh, leg on the door, I didn't did. you? I <laughs> my funny bone on the oh, way out. you got to be careful. They're really stiff because the doors really like auto locked. Hard to get out of them. You got to be careful. <laughs> right, what are we going on now, Charlotte? We're going on bench the rock. Can we have the official name for this, please? I don't know what it's called. There we go. It's just up there. That's the official name for this one. It's. Uh, Russia, it's little fast, little fucking, or something like that. I don't know how it goes. Uh, let's go and have a, a ride on here. There's some amazing rides with quality theming here at Europa Park. And this is just one of them. Bench. <laughs> We're actually sat on a park bench. This lovely little light. This lovely journey round. Very fitting. I mean, this is open all year. You go on it and think, oh, it's just a Christmas ride. But no, it is open all year round. <laughs> yeah, it really fits this time of year. Lovely bench, everybody. Here at Europa Park. Oh, oh, oh. there's the golden goose down there. <laughs> Some weird stuff going on in there. Quirky. That's the word I like to call. Not weird. Quirky. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I think I'm getting better at that Santa impression. Hey, yeah, that's it. It's like a 90 second ride. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous here in the French themed area of Europa Park. And yeah, we're about to watch Miracle Lux. There we go, 42 seconds to go. I'm seeing this. The quality looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, the projection quality is fantastic. Yeah, and all these lights and fountains are all synced up as well. So here we go. We'll watch this now and put in some highlights for you.
from Miracle Oaks. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I love that show. I love that. That's probably some of the best projection mapping I've ever seen. Yeah, it agrees. It's like I saw that here three years ago. They've updated the projectors, so the quality of that is amazing now. The best bit is like when they've got the, the pieces inside, putting all the bits back together. It looks so realistic. And also seeing Eurosat Can Can oh, Coasters that. track on there it's as so well. Cute. It's great. Nice soundtrack. It's about a 10 minute show. Enjoyed and it. the best thing is you don't need to wait about ages to see it because it counts down on there until the next How show. How long it's going to be? Yeah, every 25 minutes by the looks of it. Should we get a couple of night rides in then? Let's do it. We're going to do Silver Star in the dark and also as well go and head down back to Iceland and do Woden in the dark tonight as well. Here we go then. <laughs> We're climbing the lift hill of Silver Star. It's going to be freezing cold. Well, look at this epic view. We've sort of turned around the other way and have a look at that for you. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. This park at night. Are you okay there, Charlotte? <laughs> you can't really on the lift hill. Here we go. It's great that this is opening winter season. I remember when it never used to be, so it's great that they open this BM hyper coaster. Look at this, you can hardly see anything at night. Really misty as well. It's gonna be an atmospheric and fast ride. We're down here near the back. Here we go. Wow, look at this. You're for park. Whoa! <laughs> Silver Star! I tell you what, we had an absolutely fantastic ride down there on Silver Star, oh, Joe. We did indeed, it's great at night. Yeah, two back to back rides. We did indeed. It was cold, but it oh. It was cold, I'm glad I got my gloves on. Yeah, the airtime was amazing oh, there. I really like that coaster. Yeah, I like it a lot more than I used to. It's out and back layout, ride. lots to be done. Yeah, it's the second part of the layout that's better. There's gorgeous blue fire as well. A nice festive scene with the tree. We were out on that in the dark last night. So yeah, we're making our way now for our last ride of the day. And yeah, final on ride POV here from Europa Park as we make our way on to Vodan Timber Coaster in the dark. We love this coaster running over, but at night it's even better. And yeah, Charlotte's never done it at night before. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be good. But yeah, Iceland just here all lit up. Looks amazing. I do love all these buildings. Absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing park. And just to be back here again for Christmas, been really special. Proper night ride Woden is as well, yeah, no light in on the structure, look at that, proper good night ride, which I'm looking forward to. Worth pointing out, Whale Adventures is open down here, the Splash Battle as well, and yeah, you've got a Christmas circus, it's actually a 60 minute show that you can watch during the Christmas season, and yeah, lots to be seeing and doing here, like I say, at this park, you can film like four or five vlogs and film different things, because there's so many like little walkthroughs, the shops, and so much more. Well, yeah, it really is an amazing resource. And that's why we've come for a few days. We've got another couple of days here now, just off camera, take it all in and uh, soak up this absolutely amazing park. But look at Woden's entrance just there. Looks gorgeous late up at night. Let's go and take a ride. Here we go, Christmas tree on the station platform and all Charlotte's presents under there as well. It's been the ongoing thing this trip. Here we go, look how dark this is. Gives you a bit of a preview of how good this is going to be. I don't think you're going to see a lot on the POV, but we always try our best to take you along for the full experience. Hey! Look at all that light pollution from blue fire and the Ferris wheel. Wow. This is it, Europa Park at Christmas. What an epic view. All the lights, Euromir, Eurosat, Food Loop, Silver Star over in the distance, Kronosar over that way, the Spanish Arena, oh, it's just so lovely. Lit up here for Christmas. And this is it, Charlotte's first time in the dark. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> 
Show me I've got the fire on up here. Like I said yesterday, it's off at the moment. Here we go. Let's ride. Gonna be fast and cold. It's Woden. Wow. of the trip so far that oh i love that oh amazing what a way to wrap up our second day here at europa park Well, I tell you what, that ride there on Woden was absolutely phenomenal. We didn't just have one, but we had two awesome night rides there. Oh, it was running so fast. It was great at night. It was brilliant. It really was. And of course, the ride selection here is amazing. And seeing this park at Christmas for the first time for Charlotte. Oh, it's just been so magical. It's just been beautiful seeing all the lights and the trees. It's been lovely. What they do here for the festive season really is special. Thousands of trees, lights, garlands, decorations everywhere. I don't think there's another park anywhere in the world that decorates like Europa Park do at Christmas. There's just so much going on. Yeah, no matter which season you come here to this park, you're always going to enjoy it. The main summer season's great when it's nice and hot, but also at this time of year, coming and getting all the night rides, it's the best time of the year for that. And also everything for Christmas really makes it magical. There's so much more. The additions that they bring in, like the ice rink, um, the big wheel, all the extra entertainment, so much to see and do during this time of year. And it's been so special bringing Charlotte for the first time. Oh, it's been lovely, hasn't it? It really has indeed. And yeah, no matter when you come, it's always one of our favorite parks. Halloween's always great. You've still not been for Halloween. Yeah, no, I'd like to do it at some point. Yeah, 100%. But uh, I tell you what, getting back on all the rides and loads of night rides has certainly been amazing. We've got a couple of days off camera while we're here as well, which is nice too. Uh, we always plan that into our trips, don't we? There's still some certain rides that we haven't done so we can enjoy those off camera. Yeah, we always try our best to cover as much as we can and we always get the, the majors in but there's some smaller flat rides boat rides other bits and lots of re-rides everything at this park is really re-rideable really so we'll make the most of it we see some great entertainment of course the projection mapping that's about to start again actually behind us uh, along with that we saw the fireworks the parade uh, some indoor shows they've got the circus here as well the ice show i'd like to see maybe another indoor show uh, at this uh, park for the so event too. maybe like with some acrobats and like some singing and stuff in there yeah they've got like the dinner show that's an upcharge at christmas but i think another indoor show would be great to see um, but yeah thanks very much for joining Thank us it's you. lovely having charlotte with us full time oh, now it's lovely. oh just being able to do all these trips we really appreciate it christmas is a very special and magical time and we just want to say thank you so thank much you for so your support much. we really appreciate it charlotte's been full time for a few months oh, now I loved it. and just getting to do everything with charlotte's been amazing i'm sure a lot of you are wondering are we doing rulantica this trip uh we're not this time because the new bits aren't ready we did it last time we was here september last year um but they still haven't got the new slides open just yet so we're gonna give it a miss this time yeah we thought we'd uh, wait until those keep it really fresh it means there's loads of new stuff for us to see we've got annual passes again this time so we're definitely going to come for halloween next year yeah, that'd be really good. i've not done halloween for years like five six years and also we'll do traumatica which is a horror event and give that a go as well but uh thanks very much for joining us here on theme park worldwide the projections are just about to start again and that leaves with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep on riding see you all in the next vlog